Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Do we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Mosa that teach His truth well and that continue to teach His truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning. And we're going to start off with Isaiah 30. Woe to them that cover, okay, with a covering, but not of Yahweh's spirit. Let's start off on Isaiah 30 and we're going to go straight to, let's start on 30. Woe to the rebellious children. Okay, the rebellious children are those that don't want to take heed to the words of, your, of the Lord Jehovah Sham Yahweh Shai. Saith the Lord Jehovah Shai that take counsel. So our people are constantly taking counsel. But what counsel are they taking? But not of me. So they take a whole other counsel. They're not taking the counsel of Yahweh Shai. Because the counsel of Yahweh Shai, that's that safety. Okay? And without that counsel of Yahweh Shai, you have no safety. And that cover, with a covering. And what's a covering? A veil. Okay, what cover to place over with a covering, but not of me. Okay, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So, if you ain't covered by the spirit and the blood of Yahweh Shai, then what are you covered by? That means you're covered by demons. Okay, because Christianity is a demon, Every, everything outside of the scriptures. Outside of the Holy Spirit is a demon. Everything. So our people, they, they have a covering, but it's a covering of demons. Okay? That's why it's so important to be in Yahweh Shai. Nothing else. In Yahweh Shai. So I want to go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 4, Baba Kisha. And it says, this is 2 Corinthians 11. I'm going to go straight to 4. Start at 3. But I fear this by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve, tricked Eve. Okay. Which that was a spirit, a deceptive spirit. Okay. Esau's spirit through his subtlety. Okay. And that serpent was actually a man which was what? <laughs> the spirit of Esau. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Mashiach. Okay, because Satan, his whole thing is to deceive, and he's gonna what? He works on the minds of men, even false prophets, to deceive. But guess what? The elect are not gonna be deceived. The scriptures tell you that. If it be possible, they just shall deceive the very elect. But it's not gonna be possible to deceive the very elect. Okay, and it says, Your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Mashiach. So, how does your mind be corrupted? By not being in Yahweh, by not having that covering. And it says, for if he cometh preacheth another Jesus, okay, which we don't like to use, I don't even like to use that name, but another so-called Jesus Mashiach, of whom ye have not preached, that image of Caesar Borgia, okay, that's another spirit. Or if you receive another spirit, see, that's another spirit. That's a demonic spirit. The spirit of Christianity. That's a demonic spirit that has influence, what, over the kings of the world. The false prophet that what worked miracles. Christianity is a deceptive spirit. Okay. Which you have not received. And another gospel which you have not accepted. So. Seven day Adventist. Baptist. Pentecostal. That's all the spirit of Satan. That's the spirit of deception. Okay. Which you have not received. Or another gospel which you have not accepted. Ye might well bear with him. Which that's what our people do. Okay, they, they, they bear with it, they put up with it, they don't they don't battle these demons, they, they embrace it. So when you hear someone coming to you with Christianity, you're not supposed to say, oh, you know, he's alright, he's a brother. No, you're supposed to rebuke it. You don't embrace it. And that's why it says, um, thou shalt not bear with him. You're not supposed to. Bear me just a minute, 11 and 4. You might well bear with him, and that's what our people do. And we quickly go into that word bear. And this is what our people do. Fide am I. Fide am I. To spare. To abstain. 
So baby, just to spare our people pull up our people pull up with it. Our people actually pull up bear me just a minute. With that, they don't rebuke it. Okay, they, they accept these philosophies, and therefore, if you accept these philosophies, you're gonna be taken over by it, you're gonna be deceived. Okay, bear me just a minute. So these are the different spirits that are what throughout the earth and Christianity is one of the major outside of Islam as well one of the major religions that everybody's following so the people that are following Christianity they have the spirit of what deception upon them okay so now let's go to First John 2 and 18. I'm trying to get this in the right order. This is first John 2 and 18. The scripture says there's only one way. Okay, what's that in Matthew 7 or 6? There's only one way. There's only one gate. There ain't many. There ain't many paths. Christianity is the path of destruction. First John 2 and 18 and it says Little children it is the last time and as you have heard that the much anti anti Christ anti Mashiach anybody that's against Yahweh his word that's compromised that's teaching another doctrine they're against Yahweh so he's telling us that you have heard that the anti Christ anti Mashiach shall come even now there are many antichrists so it's a they're already here if you're a follower of christianity you're anti-messiah okay if there's anything outside that's come against the doctrine of yahweh Shai, that makes you an anti-messiah okay whereby you know now that many zakat even now there are many anti mashiachs whereby you know it is the last time. Okay. This is it. There's many, many, all around. That's why you have to be circumspect. And I quickly want to go into Revelation 19 and 9. So like I know I might be moving a bit fast, but I'm in a rush. I'm trying to do these lessons in haste. Revelations 19 and 19. And I saw the beast. Okay, and I want to say this: the image of the beast. Is not um, Caesar Borgia. That's not the image of the beast. Okay. It's an image. But it's not an image of the beast. The image of the beast is this Roman system. Okay. Which is known as what? Rome. Okay. Must be revived. Okay. And I saw the beast. Roman system. It's also known as what? NATO. Okay. And this system. And the kings of the earth. The rulers. And their armies. Okay, gathered together to make war against him. So these are what anti mashiachs and that sat on the horse. Okay, and against his army. Okay, war against him that sat on the horse. And who's going to be sitting upon that horse? Yahavashai. And against his army, the angels. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet. Okay, in other words, destroyed. And the false prophet, what's the false prophet? The, ca the Roman Catholic church that has major influence through what through deception on the left hand side that wrought miracles so it said wrought means done to work what miracles so how are these miracles wrought these miracles are wrought from the left hand side okay before him which which he deceived rem okay because guess what a lot of these churches as well they're going to be telling you to take the chip they're going to be telling you that Okay, a lot of these churches, they've sold you out. So this is what's going to be happening. That's why it says, which he, the seed rem that have received the mark of the beast. Because the Roman Catholic Church is in league with this system. It's part of this system. It tells, remember that scripture somewhere in Revelation 16 about the unclean frogs? And one of them was what? The Catholic Church. You had what? You had Washington, so like you had, the, um, was it New York, which was the headquarters, okay, of... America, what New York, 
and also got Washington, and you also got where else, where else, where else, where else? The financial district is London, okay, and you also have the Roman, the false prophet, which is the Roman Catholic Church, okay which deceive them that have received the mark of the beast so also you're going to have what the christian church pushing out that you have to take it and you're going to have false prophets okay because it says the false prophet and that spirit is what is working on the men's of particular men even in the truth that claim to be in the truth that have received the mark of the beast and them that have worshipped his image and that image is esau's way of life these both were cast into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Why? Because they took the chip and it tells you in Revelations 14 and 9, whoever so take the mark of the beast shall be burnt up with fire. Don't take that chip. Do not take that chip. Okay. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And I hope this, was, this built brothers up. Because we're in a time of great deception. Keep your eyes open. But guess what? The elect are not going to be deceived. Okay. Those that have been messing about, playing about, thinking this was a joke, they're the ones that are going to be deceived. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. Until the next time, Shalom.